You think Tony has an impressive view? Take a look at this. There's a two astronauts performing one of the most challenging spacewalks in NASA history this morning. They're 250 miles above the southern tip of South America. It's the second in the series of high state spacewalks to save a critical $2 billion science experiment on the International Space Station. It was not designed to be repaired in space. Janet Shanley is at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where the astronauts train. Janet, what are they trying to fix? Anthony, it's the most expensive experiment on the space station, and it sounds like something ripped from science fiction, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. It's a complicated piece of equipment that scientists hope one day will answer the question, where do we come from? And lift off. Since it was launched to the space station in 2011, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS, has captured billions of cosmic rays, searching tiny particles for clues about the origins of the universe. But its cooling system is failing, and without a fix, the experiment will die. And the first question was, do you think this is possible? Space Station Commander Luca Parmentano, an Italian engineer, and American astronaut Andrew Morgan, an Army doctor, trained for the complicated repair job. It took four years of planning. We're going to perform what could be considered open heart surgery on this amazing experiment. Drew, let me know when you're ready to retrieve. Last Friday, the astronauts prepped their patient. Parmentano removed the experiment's debris shield. Morgan tossed it overboard. Okay, the red is removed. To practice the operation, NASA built a life-size AMS mock-up out of plywood in Houston. This is where we're opening up the rib cage. Engineer Justin Cassidy helped design some of the 20-plus new tools astronauts needed to replace the cooling system. The delicate job involves cutting and fusing tiny four-millimeter metal tubes, all while wearing bulky, pressurized gloves. Wearing it is, is, makes everything more complicated. Your dexterity becomes quite challenged. It's kind of like working with hockey gloves. Everyone's on their A game. There's been a lot of work practicing, preparing for this mission. But if we put those tubes together and that doesn't work, that is not a good day for us. Today's spacewalk is expected to last six and a half hours, and at least two more of them are planned. And while AMS has exceeded its life expectancy, NASA scientists say the information coming from it is so valuable, it's worth it to try to extend its life. Anthony? Janet, thank you. It's a dangerous job because they said there's really sharp edges on the, on the outside of it, and, and you could rip your spacesuit, so they have to be really careful. And I heard no handrails. Yeah. I need handrails just walking outside the building, so it's <laughs> okay to be in space and not have handrails. Good job, though. Very if, good job. And if you want to watch the spacewalk for yourself, we're streaming it live on our CBS This Morning Facebook page through the commercial break. That's facebook.com slash CBS This Morning.